Hello again, we are back and we're going to be jumping straight back into it. Um, well, I'm going to have a brief recap for anyone watching the VODs. Um, not much has happened in the first half so far. We um, oh, did a little exploration and um, found our way to where Azel had run off to, which was the uh, ruins of Uru, where we had discovered that that's not only where she was created, it's also where they made her rather special. And then she disappeared. They didn't know what happened to her, and they just hoped that she didn't get used as a weapon. So yes, we've been flying around, uh, picking up some stuff. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to save Ankak, he passed away, so I'm thinking we should have done that in disc 3. Yes, um, the thing is, I knew we were going to have to go back to Uru at some point, so I left it until we had to. And that was my mistake, whoopsie. Yeah, um, but we're currently at the Zoa Forest where we are uncovering everything underneath the, uh, the uh, forest canopy. Now, knowing my luck, um, I'm not going to find the map until we've uncovered most of it. That's how my luck is normally going to work. Missed an item through here. There's a lot of items down here to pick up. I'm not sure how many of them are actually worth getting, but... We need to destroy these things to unlock all the um, the parts to the, uh, the ruin. Excuse me there. Sorry about that. Something irritating my nose. Now, there's also something else I've just remembered that we're going to discover. Nice little secret. Can I uncover this part of that little corner of the map? Yes. I mean, there are, there are parts of them, um, parts of maps that I didn't unlock that you can only unlock once. You, you only go to them once. Um, so, yeah, missed out slightly. But it's not a biggie. They're only just small points. Something tickling my throat there. I did have a small snack while uh, I was on my break. I don't think that would have caused it. That, I think, is the last one. Okay, so now we should have access to the thing in the middle. But I'm going to go through the uh, premises of the map just to make sure I've uncovered everything there is to uncover. I'm going to find the, um, oh, the map item as well. As I said earlier, it's probably going to be the last thing I find in this map. I'm just keeping an eye on all the, uh, the map squares as well to try and uncover those. Right, so that is the the outer area of the map uncovered. So and that's the thing in the middle that we need to get into, which I shall do after I've done a complete circuit around it. So there's probably some more items to find. I 
I'm starting to wonder whether this map even has the uh, the map item. So let's head up over here. And just fly over this thing. Okay. Now, come over here. And there is a little door which I can open and fly through. Here. I think I've seen this somewhere before. It's the same statue that was in the desert. Yes. Now... Let's go around the other side. Just trying to remember how to unlock this. Should be another thing here. E, and that looks very similar to the um, old thing in the uh, Garrel Desert. And as it's broken its way through. Here we are in the Garrel Desert. Last time we were here was uh, still on disc one. So let's head back through, and that should take us back to the forest. If I'm right. Yes. Okay. Right now, I think. Collision detection going on there. I think we can fly through here. Uh, yes, and fly out and over. So we've got something else entirely. Hmm. Okay, can't interact with that at the moment. What do we have over here? Eh. Oh, now I remember. Okay, so we've found everything to find for the moment. So let's head on out. Because now I want to go over to the, uh, the ruins at Georgius, as it's called. Oh yeah, there's the ruins now. I don't know if I can interact with them from up here. No. So yeah, I'm literally just going to head out to the world map. Just do that by heading to the edge of the map. Wherever that might be. Let's leave the area. Because... There's something to find here. I think. Yeah, it's pointing me to those three or four pyramids. Yeah, four of them. Which I'm not sure... I'm not sure if I'm supposed to activate those first.
Because there's something hidden in here. I've got to access it each time. Won't open. It's beyond this door. Yeah, okay. So I think. Yeah, I think I need to activate the um, those pyramids. Yeah, this is an interesting way they did a secret here because it's possible to destroy this thing before you unlock this. Because these over here, you can destroy quite early on in the game. But what you're meant to do is interact with these. Spheres are made of energy and they're going into the ship. Specifically the back of the ship. So I just need to head around the map. Can't actually see where they are. I just need to activate all of them. So that's two I've done. That makes three. So where's the fourth one? Ah, there it is. I'm being pulled towards the back of the ship. So here we have a mystery. It's a bit of, um, a bit blatant, <laughs> saying we're in back of the ship. So hopefully... Ooh. It's a dragon. And that is the dragon from the very first game. Um, I can't remember what that um, what that dragon was called, but that was a design that was uh, semi-designed by uh, the French artist Mobius, uh, without his knowledge. <laughs> it's quite an interesting thing looking into the um, development of these games. So we're a little bit naughty in using uh, designs that he did, because what they did was they did their designs of the dragon, sent them to him. He sent back his own versions. And they use his versions. <laughs> oh, items! Dragon booster. And blast chip. Dragon booster. Legendary item used to enhance the dragon's firepower while flying. Ooh. I don't know what that's used for. Ooh, trippy. It's a dragon crest. What is it doing here? Yes. The Genesis Chamber. So I think this is... Um, at the end of Panzer Dragoon's Y. Uh, Shellcoof, which is this thing that we're inside, that um, Lundy chases throughout the whole game, crashes, and he gets separated from the dragon. And he goes on foot to find the wreckage, and he finds himself in a massive chamber that has a dragon crest in it. And that crest is the exact same design. Now, I think that's also the same design as the dragon crest we see right at the beginning of the game, the first time we take control of Edge. So, hmm. So we have Ambrosia and another Ambrosia. Yes. Right. So get a Dragon Crest. 
and a baby dragon. Calm yourself, Proserpina. We have a baby dragon flying with us. Oh, trippy again. So yeah, this uh, this baby dragon is going to continue following us for quite a while. Let's make our way out. I love the fact the uh, the baby dragon does a. Uh, a barrel roll as well. The, it, the baby does a uh, a double barrel roll. <laughs> and out, out we head. So, we're still not done here. So we're not going to be destroying this thing just yet. So. <laughs> to kill you with cute stuff. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, right, so. I'm trying to think. What do I want to do at this point? Um, I guess Lagi's recovering. The little baby is resting as well. So let's wait until morning. Yeah, the little guy is running around. Don't know if he trusts me yet. Hmm. Let's do a quick save. So. So I know there's a quite important cutscene that happens with, um, with Gash coming up next, but I have to go to the, um, seeker camp to do it so before i do that i'm gonna head back to where everything started because we've got azel with us so i'm wondering whether she has anything to say about the area because this is where we found her and she has no memory of anything before then so is she here yes she is here no, she doesn't have anything to say. That's unfortunate. I thought she might have done. Okay. Yeah, there's the valley, but there's nothing really for us to do there until we get the... Um, Oh, the level six laser. So I think, yeah, going to see um, the Imperial fleet. That's the the Imperial fleet's been destroyed. So, <laughs> yes, the game is trying to murder you. So I think, yeah, I'm going to see Gush, and uh, we may, or well, may as well even start working our way through the tower. So next week's one might be a little short. We may even start into the game I've got plans to do after this as well. Right. Let's go find Gush. Straight into cutscene. Koko mo mo oari da. Haiki shite tsugi no ibashi o samasu. Issho ni ikonai ka? To wa? Sestoren wa dou suru da? この少ない戦力じゃとても勝ち目などない 
セストレンを倒す以前に俺はこの里の人間を守らなきゃならない生き延びさえすればまた戦える時が来るうん20年30年いやもっと後になるかもしれんがなもう一度塔に行く。ドラゴンもそれを望んでるし、僕が塔へ行けば構成生物を引きつけられる。ガッシュたちはその間に逃げてくれ。あとは僕が。だがどうやって？アゼルはまだ。私も行くわ。私が行って彼とドラゴンをセストレンに送りますだけど勘違いしないでそれが旧世紀に与えられた役目だからじゃないわあの人の言っていたことこの人たちの言っていることどちらが正しいのかはわからないだからエッジあなたに行って確かめてほしいの<笑>そこにセストレンに何があるのかすまんにあった警告があっただろう。覚えてるかも。あ。帰ってきたら、あそこで再会しよう。行こう。約束だからな。So yeah, this game's not subtle about this being literally the、uh, the end game. Everyone's snoozing again. Let's see if she's got anything more to say. Is she is she just going to say the same thing? I won't run away again. Let's head to the、uh, stronghold because literally I just walked straight in, spoke to the first person, immediately got the cutscene. So it's probably the last time I'll、um, be able to run around here as well. Yep, she's.、Uh, she's moved. Oh, gosh, she's still here. Rendezvous point is in the valley. More than you want. Eat the goy. Me. But I remember where the shop was. <laughs> I think this is the last time I'll be able to,、uh, to pick up anything. Ah, here we go. It's a particular point you've got to stand in to be able to talk to this guy. Right.、Uh, oh, you can literally buy the ambrosia. <laughs> Eight thousand for one. Blimey.、Uh, let's see, what have we got?、Um, you know what? I'm going to buy as many of those as I can.、Uh, let's sell some of the crap that I've got.、Uh, I think that will do for selling. Just get as many、um, old shield chips as possible because、uh, 
yet they only require one gauge to be able to use and actually the most expensive of the chips because they're the most useful they only require one gauge to use them and they're just as good as the berserk I wonder if he's got anything to say <laughs> right, so he's he's going to be here until um, end game. So. Ah, yes, the historian dude, Zobak. Ooh. Ah. So I've got Terror Report 2 and 3, so where's Terror Report 1? Right. Okay, the Uru Tower Records. A uh, record by compiler Feltman. The following is a summary of the data recorded on the information unit found near Uru. Contents include the construction of the tower located north of Uru. If anyone is determined to reach the tower, it will be a very, diff very difficult journey. I wish for this guide to be a helpful guide. Inside the tower there are five separate sections. To move between each section one must pass through the outer areas, consisting of 15 floors. As I said, the map for the, um, the tower is pretty big. Um, here are the routes inside the tower. From the upper floors, oh bloody hell. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not reading all that. Right. In the middle floors, there exists a rotating unit that changes the form of the outer area. If it is activated, the connection between outer 8F and 9F will be changed. Should one wish to move from 9F to 8F or 8F to 6F, this is necessary. Inside the tower, there are six power systems called rotor piles. If they are activated, movement within the level, in, within the level will be difficult, but the rotors can be deactivated at outer controllers. Uh, locations for controllers. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to really take notes on everything, this gives you a lot of it, really good information, but we're going to be exploring everywhere in the map anyway. So, um, or at least trying to. Um, so I'm not sure how useful that would be. Yeah. I don't recall there being a possibility to ask him about the Divine Visitor. しかし、その実態は不明のままだった。君のドラゴンを刺す言葉だと分かったのは、我々の世代になってからのことだ。うん。彼女は塔の制御を奪うために想像された。そのために強い力を与えられ、副産物として心を生じさせたのだ。Ok
何か重要な目的のためにあえてあなたを選んだのこのドラゴンはあなたのためだけに存在しているそう言っても過言じゃないわだからあなたが死ねばドラゴンの目的を失って昨日解除されるグレイツ全部承知だでも私は大丈夫今はエッチあなたを信じているから Yes, OK、oh. So at this point Oh yeah,、uh, I forgot to show this before Unless don't, yeah, This is a vertical map Which is、uh, I think the only part of the game that actually does this So if we head up See him further, further up in the map. So, what we need to do. Right, so, that I think is the elevator down. Okay, so both of them are locked. Camera control here is quite awkward. Nope. I was wondering why that wasn't activated. Yes. Two options for where to go. Let's go left first. I want to see what's through the other door, if it'll allow us. Just want to、uh, to check it. So I think that's the elevator that goes all the way down to the bottom, but we've got no access to that one because everything's locked down. Okay. That at least answers that. So, now we start the long and laborious process of、uh, making our way down the tower. And one thing to notice see those coloured、um, lines up at the top? And those weren't there when we came through previously. So that's one of the things that highlights the、uh, tower as being active, as well as all the colours on the walls. There's lots of moving lights. Right. There's a room just to the north there.、I'm、trying to remember how to access that.
These are big floors. Looks like literally you just need to come around here. Ooh. That literally is the way to go. Oh, look at it. The only way to go. There's a lot of going back and forth in this area, I think. Because they, they made this an annoying, gigantic puzzle. It's, it's quite common for RPGs to do that. The final area is one big puzzle designed to try and confuse you. So this should be... Yep, it is that bit I saw before. Okay. Nothing in here except a switch. Okay. So we should be able to head into the central vertical area, make our way down to where the spinny thing is, and switch it off anything that is actually called a rotopon. So we can't get through there at the moment. So that will probably be accessible once we get further down. I'm trying to remember where the save points are in this area as well. Because I might have, when I finish the stream, I might have to uh, head out of head out of the tower to be able to save. I mean, I did use a save state um, in the game before, and that save state is about halfway through. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to touch that because it will wipe the um, the internal saves if I do. I made that mistake with um, police notes. Okay, so now we can head downwards and. Okay, that was simple ish. So this should be. Oh, look at that frame rate. That is actually chugging the, uh, the emulator. Right, so I have no idea which one's which. So let's just try them all. East. Ooh. What's in this one? Because this one doesn't seem to go anywhere. But straight away, I found the switch. <laughs> Okay, that was nice and easy. So, gonna try the others. Because one of them, ha at the very least, had an item behind a barrier that I couldn't get through, and I think it's this one. I'm curious to know what item that is. Just a healing item, and that actually opens. Don't want to go through there because that'd be a, a long route round to um, to get back to this point. As long as some routes there. Right, let's jump in this one and see what's through here.
me. Oh, these are the last D units, I think. And now we have transformed into the Lightwing. Seems more powerful than ever. Yes, take a look at this monstrosity. I didn't realise these were found so early. I mean, this, this thing, to be completely honest, is hideous. <laughs> I mean, it's got one leg. Which... <laughs> It's just weird. But there is one benefit to this this form of dragon, and it's a shame it hasn't got more fanfare. There is no um oh alteration uh oh um what is it? Uh, there's no changing the state of this. This is at its absolute most powerful that it can be. It's effectively um power maximum for all four states. But as I say, it's, it's not a pretty dragon at all. It's, um, I, I don't call it Giga-esque, because <laughs> it's not. It's, it's almost like a fish. Um, when I first found this, I was really quite confused. I was thinking, what in the heck is it? <laughs> But that does mean, since we have time, we can head out. I mean, I'm actually looking at the time. If I, I'm, I'm thinking, if I went past ten o'clock, I might actually finish the game. Because at this rate, there's not going to be much left for the next week. Actually, one thing I do want to check. Um, actually, the next thing I'm, I I um, can do is go to the ruins at Georgius, which is for um, oh, Shelkuth. Actually, no, no. We're now at la laser rank, maximum laser rank. So. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna head back to camp because you can get a reasonably good look at the dragon there. And um, I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's probably the one dragon design I really don't like. Uh, wait till morning. As I say, look. It's standing on a pedestal of one leg, and the foot looks like it's the wrong way round. But we can still pet him. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that's one one thing I really don't like about the game, that design. <laughs> oh, little guy tripped. Doesn't look much. <laughs> so I'm trying to think because I know there's stuff in the valley which we can destroy now so I think we should go and do that as to the purpose I can't remember I don't know if it actually does anything But yeah, I mean, this. Those semi transparent trails on the wing are quite nice, but. Uh, it's these things. Yeah, Cooley is done for. For destroying them. Literally, beginning. Beginning game monsters is healed 30. How much damage do I do? Shh. 
<laughs> 26 XP. It's hardly worth it. Yeah, so we can destroy all the... Uh, all the fans. Now, these fans were a... Um, A hindrance here because there's so many of them. As to why they can be destroyed, I don't know. But I'm going to. Just for fun. But none of them seem to be dropping items now. Oh. Try blast chip. Last ones. Okay, that's all of them. Now, when we came through here originally, we went through here and there was a machine which we could turn off. noisy again. I think I just turned it back on. Yes. So with all the fans destroyed, I wonder what that does. It doesn't seem to do anything. It might have done something if I'd left fans alone, but uh... oh, I can go looking for uh, one of the details that I recall from the game because there are some waterfalls in here that once you do something, they there we go. Some nice little rainbows. They didn't appear previously. But one thing I noticed when I came here earlier, or came here literally first stream, was when I turned the camera sideways, you can see the pixels for the water start to skew sideways to kind of create the illusion of um, motion blurring. Now that was a detail I never saw back in the day. I mean, on CRT screen, it wouldn't um, be quite so obvious. But uh, it's amazing what details they put into these old games. Right, so I'm going to head up this way. Basically to um, make my way out of the, uh, the map, because I don't think I can go to the, uh, the world map from here. So I just need to find my way out. save point through here because this is where we first met Gush. So this should bring us out. Okay. Right. Now I think we have one last thing we can do here. あの乗り物はこの近くに落ちとったんだ。少年が一人乗っとったが、見つけた時にはもう手遅れだった。どこの誰かは知らんが、無知をしたものだ。Oh. I didn't notice that when they mentioned it earlier. Was that Pyat? Oh. Oh dear. 
Right, I don't know where he was during the day. Let's wait until morning again. I'm guessing he's out hunting uh, during the day. Okay. Let's head back to the forest of Zoa because, as I say, there's one last thing we can do here. Yeah, I, I know this is meant to be the light dragon, the uh, oh, the ultimate form of the dragon, but I really don't like the design. The light dragon. Oh, those. Not quite enough to take them all out. That was though. That should be an excellent, yes. Another level up. I think the maximum level is like 99, but the amount of work you need to do to get there. There's a few battles we need to do before we head up. I really is irritating today. Oh, you want to be behind me, do you? Well, you can all take this. And this. Ooh. Yeah, I think I might be finishing up soon. So I can leave the tower for next week. Uh, that will probably, that will definitely only take about the first half of the stream. So we can start the uh, second game. Ah, <laughs> uh, you have a... Uh, it's not. I will be finishing soon myself. I just have a few little things to uh, finish up. Actually, since you're since you're head, uh, finishing off, I think I might uh, finish up. I'll just get to the next save point and save there. Unfortunately, it does mean that this half of the uh, stream is going to be a little bit shorter than the first half. Uh, safe point should be right around the corner from here. Actually, I'll check to see if there's anyone available for a raid as well. I haven't done a raid in a while. So, there we go. Okay, yes. Almost 13 hours, and we have hit the maximum uh, dragon level. So, yes, that is going to end it for this evening. I, annoyingly, my eye has been really itchy, especially this second half. Um, I'll have a close look at it in the mirror once we're done. But um, let's just check to see if there's anyone readable. Uh, no one I follow is currently live. Okay, that's um, unfortunate. That actually seems to be happening more more and more often for some reason don't know where that is but um yes we've made some good progress i can guarantee we're going to have the game done uh next week um one thing i mentioned about this game is this is one of only a handful of games where the first time i saw the ending it, it was pushing me towards crying now no game has ever actually made me cry that's not me being big man or something i'm not someone who cries very often um but yeah, this is one of the games that got me close. I mean, what happens um, at the end is one thing. The song that plays over the credits was another one. And then there's the post credit scenes as well. I mean, for some people, the post credit scenes, especially one in particular, will break some people. Um, and it's a real shame some people never get to see it. Um, unless they sit and watch... Uh, of um, let's plays or live streams of the game but um yes it has been um fun getting through the game once again it's going to be interesting seeing how i feel about the ending um uh, the last time i played through was a couple of years ago um and uh yeah that was very nostalgic and it's uh, nostalgic again so um i hope you've all been enjoying this stream there's loads of links below uh, to have a look at uh, both on twitch and on youtube um Yes, especially my book. Uh, make sure to have a look at that, please. Um, 
need to try and figure out a way of getting more copies sold. Pretty stupid thing to say. I'm tired. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yes, I'm going to be finishing up there. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this. I will be back on next Friday, 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, the VODs for this are going to be up Sunday and Tuesday, uh, midday GMT. Once I get them, I'll, um, I'll edit it and everything tomorrow. It doesn't take that long. It's the rendering that takes a while for those. Um, yes, so next week we're going to be finishing off this game uh, for the first half. And then we'll probably be mucking around a little bit in the post-game stuff because there's a small amount of post-game stuff that they did for this game. There was masses of post-game stuff for uh, Panzer Dragoon's Y. It's a shame that they had to miss out so much for this game. It would have been amazing to see just what they would have done. Um, but at least it's something. Um, but yeah, once I've had my break then, I'll be switching over to a different game. And um, I may actually break the stream as well so that there's two separate uh, things as well so I can identify them separately on Twitch that might be a good idea <laughs> yes thanks for dropping by Tom thanks for uh, um, oh where was I going with that <laughs> yeah I'm tired I need to go get some sleep <laughs> but yes I will be seeing you uh, tomorrow for the uh, our little game that's <laughs> going to be fun yes mm, lots of murder lots of murder and other things <laughs> right yeah, I need to finish up. So, uh, yes, um, hopefully I will see you all again next week. Um, but regardless, I hope you have a good weekend and I hope you have a good week. And I will see you again soon. Bye.